Today we're going to make a Perry Roubaix pizza. This is going to be a real earthy taste. We're going to combine some different ingredients to kind of give us the taste and feel and the big idea of what it would be like to race Perry Roubaix on a pizza. All right, so we're going to start with some 10 inch tortillas. We have Neuchâtel cheese. And we also, you can use cream cheese. I just like the Neuchâtel, it's just got a little bit more taste to it. We're gonna take that and spread that on our tortillas. I've already got these spread. So I just take them and just start a thin layer. And I just work that all the way around and work that into the tortillas. And this is gonna be basically our pizza sauce. We're not gonna have a sauce, this is gonna be a cheese and potato and turnip pizza. So the next thing we're gonna do if we're going to come over here, we're going to take turnips, the root part, and just some small, these are green tomatoes, you can get the gold tomatoes, um, yellow tomatoes, but they just need to be a young, tender to, uh, potato, not tomatoes. And then I'm going to take that on my mandolin, and we're going to take a very, very thin slice, not see-through thin, but as close to that as we can. We just take these down, so this is about how they come out, and then we're going to do the same with the potatoes. We have all of our potatoes and our turnips have been sliced. The next we're going to do is we're going to take our tortillas that are already prepared and we're going to put a thin layer of mozzarella cheese. And instead of putting the cheese on top, it's actually going to make the bottom layer of this pizza. And not a whole lot, just enough to give it a, a good base. And it's going to cook and blend in with the other cheese and really give us a nice creamy, cheesy texture on this pizza. Okay. Just a little bit of salt on this, not a whole lot. And then we're going to come, this is truffle oil. Truffle oil is an infused oil. This is going to give us a great aroma. This is going to give us that real earthy taste on the pizza. So we're just going to drizzle this on ever so lightly on both of these. Just a not a whole lot. And then we're going to come back later and we're going to add just a little bit more after it cooks because we don't want the aroma to completely cook off. All right. And then we're going to take our turnips that have been sliced and our potatoes and we're going to start those in the middle. And we're going to start them in a spiral motion out toward the edge. So we're just going to combine these and it's almost going to be a uh, we're going to create a cobblestone effect. So this is a visual pizza as well as a taste pizza. Just continue to take these all the way out. And we'll get these done and we'll come back and we'll put these in the oven. All right, we've got our pizzas laid out. We've got our turnips and our potatoes done in our cobblestone pattern here. We're going to add a little bit more salt. The potatoes and the turnip just need enough salt to maintain the, the flavor of them. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some coarsely ground pepper. And again, the pepper and the potatoes and the cheese and especially the truffle oil are all gonna pair together well. Plus it's going to give us kind of a dirty look like cobblestones. So we're gonna, again, liberally apply some coarsely ground pepper. All right, then we're gonna put these in the oven. A little bit of cornmeal on the pizza peel. Just take this, slide it in the oven at 500 degrees. And we're just going to let that cook, and it's going to be about 8 to 10 minutes. All right, our pizza is ready. <clears throat> Turnips, potatoes, cream cheese or Neuchâtel cheese with mozzarella, salt and pepper. And the pepper is important because it seems like a lot, but when you mix everything together, it's going to be an important flavor. And then what we can do is we can come back with a little bit more of the truffle oil. This is a black truffle oil. And we can just lightly <clears throat> drizzle that again just to give it that flavor back. All right. 
and we are ready to cut this. This is our Perry Bay pizza.